Hey guys, I just got my Nirvana Vegas Nerve Stimulator and this will be unboxing and um, the review will come later because I need to test it out before I can give you my opinion of what um, if it actually does what it claims to do. So it's a Vegas Nerve Stimulator, if you don't know what that is. Um, probably look it up because there's a uh, large nerve that it, and it's uh, close to your heart as well as your diaphragm so when you actually do breathing deep breathing exercises you have, you're stimulating the vagus nerve so this is what comes with the a couple of uh, the manual it comes with the 9 volt I already installed it you have to unscrew it and then you have to bundle the wires on one side uh, and put it in or else you won't be able to put it in. This is the trick to it. This is the main unit. This is the mini RCA audio in cable which is uh, totally useless I found. This is the included saline applicator. It's a spray that you have to put saline solution in and then it will it'll create better contact with the headphone. Here are the headphones and uh, they have a blue wire and a black wire. The blue wire is the conductive wire and the black wire does nothing except gives you sound. The blue wire has to go into your left ear. Don't ever put it into your right ear because the right vagus nerve actually passes uh, too close to the heart and you don't want any uh, problems with that signal so you have to put this in your left ear and then uh, the last thing is uh, different sized earbuds and it comes with this uh, two other sets small and large and these are the ones that are uh, medium and the last thing that it comes with is this uh, nice carrying pouch for you to carry this all this stuff around hey guys over the past few days I had a chance to use the Nirvana and uh, just want to tell you my experiences with it so it comes uh, with a, a mini uh, RCA jack so that you can connect a music source to it I've actually found this to be uh, pretty ineffective um, because when when you connect it for some reason the, the DSP in here uh, doesn't pick up the audio uh, too well so you don't actually get the the optimum uh, setting so I didn't like using this um, so what I basically did was uh, if you turn this on there's um, two modes one is audio the other one is actually there's two modes in audio and then there's a formula mode uh, in audio, you can actually go into line in or ambient, ambient mode. Ambient mode is basically going to pick up like the noises or or music. Let's say you're listening to your home stereo, um, and you're not using headphones. This will pick it up. That seems to be the best uh, uh, for listening to to music. Uh, the other option that you have is called formula mode. Formula mode. Um, uh, basically just uh, runs it and it'll post uh, to the maximum and then go back post to the maximum and then go back and uh, here's the, the Nirvana uh, headset and this gets plugged into the unit and uh, the blue headset is the only one that transmits the um, electrical signal the right one doesn't really do do anything except uh, gives you uh, audio. So if you're doing it in formula mode, um, you don't really need to use your right one. You just need to put on your left one. So they give you a couple of different sizes, right? And uh, it, you have to choose the one that fits the best for you. But um, they also give you a, a saline dispenser because. Um, uh, salt helps the electricity conduct in your ear and uh, all you have to do is turn this and it pops up and then you take it out and then you fill up with a certain amount of salt quick start guide here 
and it gives you a, a salt fill line and then you just fill the salt up and then fill the rest up with the uh, distilled water or whatever. It, you just give the headset, the conductive one which is your left one, a spray on this side and a spray on this side and then put it in your ear and um, it, it works really well after that. I wasn't able to get it to, to work well without saline so I, even even after I've followed the instructions and used some alcohol swab to clean your, the oils in your ear it still wasn't working well until I used a saline solution. I guess you guys want to know what it feels like uh, when you're using it. So I didn't feel any euphoria but I guess the, the only the best way to describe the feeling is um, kind of like chills. If you if you have the the correct setting, or, or if uh, yeah, if you're using it right, um, the, the the inventors kept on saying that uh, everyone feels it differently. So uh, the the feeling I got was basically chills. So chills, not like in a freezing way, but chills like shivering, like. Um, like after you held your urine, <laughs> let's say you held held your urine for a really really long time, and you 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 went to the bathroom and and you took a really really long piss, um, and then at the end you do the shiver. Yeah, that's basically the 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 chill, chilling feeling that I I felt or the the shivering feeling. So also if you if you ever um, put a, a Q tip. Uh, in your ear and it itches and you need to put a q-tip in there to to scratch it uh, and uh, you, you hit that sweet spot and you get all goosebumps and stuff that's basically the feeling that you get once you hit the sweet spot so uh, let me just show you what the what it looks like when you're in formula mode you turn it on and uh, we select formula Duration doesn't matter. The intensity controls how uh, how high the voltage is, and uh, you can uh, select all the way up to 25. I I've been comfortable with somewhere around 18, so uh, but I'll show you what it looks like. So this it's a session beginning in three, two, one, and then what it does is it has these um, those are chevrons, and they're supposed to go all the way up and then it'll come all the way back down again and that's in formula mode so it keeps on going up and then down up and then down but if you um, want to see oh yeah when you're using it you can pause it by pressing the power button if you hold the power button for three seconds it'll turn off okay so if you hold it for three seconds it'll turn on and then let's do the um, audio mode and change it to ambient and then this thing here you, you see when I'm talking right testing testing one two three you can see the the, the chevrons go so what you want to do is you want it to actually hit peak and then come back down so even when you're talking you can see that it uh, picks up my voice and it's, it's doing that thing so you can also calibrate it so that uh, it, it'll be more sensitive and when you're done, you just hit this and then uh, select the the duration, right? And then start it. And then you also select the intensity and stuff. So once it starts, right? Then let's say you're listening to your home stereo, and you know, then um, it'll, it'll basically jump back and forth while you're listening to your your stereo, and and give you like a tingly feeling. So. I found it to be pretty interesting and um, yeah if you want to get one you can go to their uh, site and, and place an order but uh, yeah I think the first uh, they just shipped like the first few thousand or something and I was one of the earlier people who ordered it so I got mine relatively early but I think there's a huge backlog for it but Anyway, I, I, I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool device to chill out uh, without having to take any drugs. And again, um, it's a uh, Vegas nerve stimulator and uh, I highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, 
hope you uh, like and subscribe.